How are we all doing, ladies and gentlemen of the tribe? Are we all doing good today? I hope so. I hope so. What's going on, Harmony? What's going on, Jar Jar? How are we doing? We doing fine? We doing dandy? We have got a 3-0 and on the cards here, potentially, guys. We went 2-0 and so far. 2-0 and so far. Now, the finals are never a walk, so there's no guarantees. And you know your boy Scribble, he always likes to play that efficiency. I oh, know I don't always. I have in recent months been playing efficiency matches where I tend to save a lot more for offense. So it means that uh, we can't afford no drops. We can't afford no stinking drops. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You're going to go 3-0? Nice one, Harmony. Nice one, brother. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. So we are uh, busy building our way up through trying, trying to get as much signal data as we possibly can because I know I'm going to have to relic up a whole bunch of units in the near future. We're going to be doing Gungans, obviously, to relic five. We've got two more Gungans left, the Phalanx and Jar Jar. They're both going to R5. Then the whole team has to go to R8. Then we've got Queen Armadala, we've got Master Kenobi, and we've got Padawan Obi-Wan. Padawobi-Wan. So there's a whole lot we got to do. Kimmy's in the house. How you doing, Kimmy? Ready for the Eclipse and the Gak. No Eclipse for me here. No Eclipse. Yeah, I think it's only on stateside, isn't it? Doing well with yours? Good luck. Thank you so much. I believe my opponent has started attacking. I don't think he's dropped anything yet, but I'm not expecting him to drop. Not expecting him to drop. Looks like he's at 227 banners, so at least we'll get to have a look and see what he's doing. ¿Qué tal, Revan? ¿Qué tal, hombre? Let's see what he's doing currently. He is currently but, 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 clearing south by the looks of things. So he has cleared a team in the north. Not sure what he chose to take out there. Let's have a look. Looks like he took out the CLS team there. And he has definitely been clean so far. I don't know how efficient he's been, but he's definitely been clean. Let's have a think. He's cleared one team up north and what, three teams down south? Three teams down south. Four teams at 227 banners. Ten will be for the first battle. 217, essentially, across four battles. It's over 50 banners. It's over 50 banners um, on average. Let's let's actually have a look at that then. So 217 divided by, what was it? Four teams? 54 banner average. If we don't take into account the 10 banner average that he's going to get, uh, the 10 banners that he'll get for his bonus. So he's taken out... Uh, the Treya team, this is a new team I put on defense this round. He's taken out Leia and he's taken out DTMG. Arguably the hardest teams on that south wall he has cleared. He's got some semi-gimme teams here before he sees the back wall. You got stuck behind the evil Ray De Datacron. Oh, Sibo, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. I'm sorry to hear that. Better luck next time, my friend. Did I set trench on defense? Always. My trench is firmly on defense. Because I enjoy Trench on defense. He's had a couple of holds for me, actually, this round of 3v3. You lose your GAC 2 out of 3. Oh, Rafael. Lo siento, hombre. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no tú eres ganar? ¿Gano? ¿Gané? Your Trench always seems to get... It does, actually. I think a lot of people underestimate Trench. They sort of think, oh, yeah, we'll deal with Trench afterwards. I'll send something in. Um, but the, uh, you know, like, he, he's no joke. He's got a decent enough data cron. That's a lot of extra he health and protection. Some health steal, some offense. Dooku is annoying. We do have Wat Tambor in there to make it more annoying. So, hopefully our opponent does go in. Basically, this north wall is pretty much a gimme. I mean, some people have dropped on Aiden. Some people have dropped on Trench. Some people have dropped on Fin Fin Zori. That's always a bit of an annoying team to face off against. Um... You know, because this level 6 is just, like, obnoxious, basically. You always JKR Trench? Yeah, JKR and Trench sounds like a good shout. Sounds like a pretty good shout. Hey, what's going on, FN? Magnus, could you explain why you placed C above JMK on the GL ranking? I'm just curious. C above JMK. Did I actually place C above JMK in the GL ranking? I don't know. I don't know. 
Mi jab el luz fisle. Ah, lo siento, administración San Rafael. Uh, you always use fin fin zori or other variations? No, I always use fin fin zori. I might consider other variations in the future though. If I had the rose tico on me, I would probably consider fin zori rose tico. Um, but I don't have that uh, rose tico on me. I don't actually think that um, C is a better offensive character uh, than JMK. I think JMK overall is probably the better investment. C is just easier to get. Does have a lot of offensive viability alongside Bane, but I don't want to look at a character alongside just Bane because Bane is far too good elsewhere. Um, so it's probably just a mistake on my part. Probably just a mistake on my part. Although if it drives comments to the comment section, I do enjoy that. I've been having a nice discussion with an individual there who is outraged that JMK wasn't third. He's outraged. And we had a, a good... I hope he doesn't think I'm being an arsehole. But we, he was having a discussion. We'll call it a discussion about how JMK deserves to be third because he's the best farm to do. To do like JMK into Gas, into Negotiator, into Lord Vader and stuff like this. I'm like, yeah, but you can't just look at JMK and be like, yeah, JMK and Gas together is like the best thing to do it's like well jmk and gas and that's not jmk that's jmk and gas you could do the same thing with jml you could go jml and gas profundity and jml gas and lord vader and you get the same sort of result or better results with other gls so it was interesting oh that was you oh good good well i'm more than happy to have that discussion further magnus more than happy to have that discussion further hello everyone how are you hey kaicho how are you doing today buddy you always use Fin Fin Zori? No, sorry, I've already answered that one. Yeah. Alrighty then. I don't think our opponent is continuing to attack. We're okay for time so far. Got seven minutes before I have to do my fleet climb. RNG played against you. Yeah, sometimes it happens, San Rafael. Good news though. Two wins with Gungans versus Separatists on two tries. One GG and one Trench. Nice one, Sibo. I haven't, I haven't actually tried to use my Gungans at all just yet. At all. I, like, I do have some relic levels, but I think for this lock-in, we didn't have... Yeah, we didn't have Tarples relic up. And I've only got one Zeta rocking, and the mods are not good. So I don't want to try these against anything. Uh, I've, I've got no faith in them right now. You think he's waiting for me to attack back? Maybe he is, Harmony. Maybe he is. But we're not, um, I'm not going to do my attacks until I've done my fleet climb in seven minutes. Because every single time I start attacking, I always forget to climb to first in fleet. And I end up costing myself a couple hundred uh, crystals. And that's just not fun. You know what I mean? Not fun. So, yeah. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to wait those last couple of minutes until we've got that up and running. Did I climb into first in... Yeah, okay, we're, we're in first in squad arena. Not that this really matters at all. Let's be honest. It, this doesn't matter in the slightest. The audio is kind of bugged a second, guys. Let me restart. Let me restart uh, Blue Stacks real quick. Ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -da boom Yeah, give me one second, guys. Sorry. Hopefully, hopefully when we get this PC client, don't have to worry about this sort of business. Hopefully. Hey, Shrek Harvey. How are you doing today? Crystals for Gungans are more important than GAC. <laughs> I mean, crystals in general make the uh, make the world go around, don't they? Um, I've got my crystals put aside for phalanx. Phalanx, yeah. I've, I've got like 19k crystals, which should be enough to see me to the 6 star on Phalanx. Obviously, I'll still have to buy the $30 pack. Hey, what's going on, Wolfie? No. Oh. Gotta be somewhat okay. Yep, bad at gack. Hey, what's going on, Wolfie? Wolfie, Wolfie. When is the police? We don't know yet, Harmony. I'm still waiting to hear back from uh, CG on that one. I don't, I don't think so, Magnus. No. I, I CG don't usually give us a massive lead time on these sort of things. Usually if they're doing some sort of announcement, it usually means that it's relatively imminent. So I'm hoping it's relatively imminent. I'm hoping it's coming soon because I would like to use it. 
I'd like to at least try it out to see if it's more stable than blue stacks. You faced another seven mil account a third time in a row. Is seven mil much higher than you, Shrek Harvey? Is that is that a very difficult punch up for you, my friend? Hey, what's going on, Arkan? How are you doing today, bro? Four mil difference. He's got four million more GP than you. That is rough, dude. He's got over twice your GP. Yeah, that's that's a hard punch up, dude. Unfortunately, lost by three. No way, dude. Three banner loss? That is pain. Jar Jar is the fifth Gungan. I needed a reminder, I forgot. Yep. Jar Jar is a coming, boys. He's a coming. I can't wait. I can't wait for Jar Jar. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh, yes, he Maurith. So yeah. Definitely looks like our opponent is just is just holding back. He's holding back on the uh, on the pistol before he gets in. Oh no, he's just killed Rex Rex Fives. He is not holding back at all. He's going for the full sweep, one tap clear. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What I like seeing is that he's put Lord Vader on defense up here. So that means we've got Bo-Katan greatness to, to go through. There's no there's no maul either. So I, I I almost think that Bo-Katan solos that. It is Relic 9 though, that's kind of rough. Relic 9. Relic 9 Doubtcron. Defense to offense. Extra crit damage, crit avoidance deflection. I mean Potentially. I'm doing real good, thanks, Arcan. Can't wait for Jar Jar? Yeah. Hey, Burrito, how you doing? Suffering from a speed deficit, being outsped by the entire wall. Some characters, not as much. Yeah, this is why modding is so important. Is Arkan Turkish? I, I don't actually know. The same Kron at Relic 9? Nice, Wolfie. I might give it a try. May maybe. Well, I'm going to clear his south wall first. I'll see his back wall, and I'll see if we need to risk it. I'm not going to risk it for the sake of it. Um... And we got DTMG, pretty strong DTMG team. No um, no OG Moff Gideon, though. That makes my life a little bit easier. We've got Maul, Maul Bam Armor. That's a weird combo. That's a weird combo, but we'll manage it. And then he's got a leftover Seer Cal Fulcrum. That's an interesting setup, too. Then he's got a standard Fin Fin Zori. Let's check out the Ulcron. Uh, I'm asking Twitch, you. Ah, uh, yes. So Arkan, Arkan, are you are you are you Turkish, Arkan? You got dead net yesterday, and so did you for a new name for. Uh, did you get a new name for the podcast? Uh, well, we weren't going for a new name; we were just going for a new tagline for us. Arkan is indeed Polish, Polish, Turkish. Shrek Harvey, sorry, apologies, Polish. <laughs> um, yes, Arkan is indeed Turkish. Let's see what his south wall holds, and then we'll climb in fleet. So, ah, he's got his own trench. His own trench on the bench over here. And then we've got an uncommon ray team. It's not often you'll see Bagbro Poe with this. But I imagine dropping rocks on that face will go swimmingly. <laughs> um, stacking offense... Crit avoidance, okay, yeah, yeah. Standard ray, decent amount of health steal, decent offense there. Twenty-two percent offense. That is a lot of offense. Well, I mean, it's not loads, but twenty-two percent offense on a ray team is fifteen k offense. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. We're definitely gonna throw rocks at that face. Hey, TLZ, how you doing, brother? We've got an inexplicable JML team with a cam. Cron. I'm oh, probably just going to Reaver it. Yeah, Malakos the Ray, Reaver the JML, Bane the Treya, Treya, Leia. <laughs> and then we've got a completely busted Keller and Beck team. Why is he running Old Ben in this team? You actually live in Germany, but you are Turkish. That's cool, Arkan. Like why? Why would you put Old Ben in the, in a in a Keller and Beck team? That doesn't that doesn't vibe. That doesn't vibe at all. Because 
he's I mean he's not gonna gonna gain Keller and Beck is gonna lose what is his 40% additional protection is it um, it's not a full team, so Anakin's not going to gain an additional 100% offense on his bonus turn. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say I'm going to, you know, whomper it or something, but I'll, I'll, I don't have to worry about it, I don't think. I'll just JML Hoder it or something. I think that makes sense. All right, let's climb in fleet. Let's climb in fleet before we forget. Climb in fleet before we forget. You gotta forget it and set it. And don't you regret it. All right, Darth Thanos over here. We shall knock him down a peg. Hey, Vin. Thank you, brother. How are you doing today? All right. This is our... Well, this isn't GAC right now, but this is our chance to go 3-0. And I haven't gone 3-0 in a while, I don't think. Um, so it'd be nice if we could... If we could wrap up a nice 3-0. Hmm, no protection disruption. That kind of sucks. But uh, I guess we'll cope with it. We'll live with it. Good luck. I couldn't clear fleets today. Oof. I hope you still win, buddy. I hope you still win. Genuinely do. Getting my shots of the eclipse. I shall return. Oh yeah, enjoy, buddy. Enjoy. Um. Oh, why did I do that? I sh should have gone over here. I'm. I'm a silly, silly little human. Go on, counter attack him. Nice. That's sexy. I'm bringing Sexy back. Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on. Good. Thank you for attacking the uh, intercept. Er. Um, might as well do a little bit of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Why not? How do you? How do you? Over here. Boop. Gain some TM. You are dead, good sir. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Hit it. And quit it. How do you? Take over his capital. Game set and match. 6 0 this round against a 13.8 mil core patrol account. That is huge, Vin. That is huge, dude. Checking my GAC and my opponent killed my upper wall. Got his down, you have 970 and he has 818 at the minute. Ah, oh, you're doing pretty good then. MP, how you doing? How you doing today, buddy? You good? Bam, 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 bam. Now we just gotta slowly whittle away his ship, and then everything will be beautiful and rosy once again. Good. Darth, Darth Revan takes control of the capital ship. He says, but here he is mine. <laughs> yeah, Darth Revan takes over his own capital ship. Yep. Stop you from making into Kai for the first time? Oh, I'm sorry, MP. SK versus C this round worked like a charm, then went up with Imp Troopers for the cleanup. SK versus C. Can't say I've ever tried that. I don't think I have, anyway. I've SK'd a lot of things in my time, but I don't think C was one of them. Jabbers, for sure. Obviously, Rays. 
SK. Ooh, looks like our opponent has cleared that south wall. He gets to view the back wall. Oh, let's see what he decides to do. You're now 12 out of 16 for JMK. Just what GG, Shakti, and Grandmaster Yoda missing. Not too bad, Arkan. All right, so he has seen our back wall. I don't think he's dropped the battle yet. I think he's been pretty clean. Yeah, all battles are one taps. You wish Malak took control of the Leviathan after Revan uses his ult? That would be quite funny. That would be quite comical. But thematically, I guess it, um, it, it's probably difficult for CG to code, I guess. So we've got a relatively tough back wall because we've got Lord Vader back here uh, with Maul and Thrawn with a Doubtcron. So he can't really, he can't really um, fennec it. He'll have to GL it or use Bo-Katan Mandalore. But I checked in previous battles and he was using Bo-Katan Mandalore against Treya. So I set Treya on the front wall in hopes that he burns his Bo-Katan Mandalore against it. And then he doesn't have it for the Lord Vader in the back. And he can't use Fennec against it, so he has to use another GL. That was my thought process there. This team just doesn't require anything good, but it's just irritating. Ray is Ray. We had Leia on the front wall, hopefully drawing out Bane. Um, he can still, obviously, like, JMK it or something, or have a good time with it. Aphra is a gimme. And then we've got our nice Keller and Beck team, which could cause him some issues. We don't know. Hey, Thrawny, how you doing? <laughs> Walt has a buff. Is Walt Disney? <laughs> yes. Is Walt, I mean, technically, if it is Walt Disney, I should I should have the advantage here because Walt Disney's dead. So, yeah. Lawwise, if I remember correct, Levy was never Revan's ship. It's kind of funny. Um, didn't, wasn't, no, no, Revan was the fleet commander originally, and then Malak betrayed him, right? And took over. But I can't, I can't actually recall. It's been a while since I played Kotal. Wolfie will know. Wolfie, how did that happen? If you're still in the chat, dude. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, looks like he's not currently attacking. He's probably just taking a look at that back wall and thinking, hmm, how shall we go about doing this? How shall we go about doing this indeed? Took over rule of Sith, yes, but I believe not the ship. I may be wrong. I can't recall, honestly, Kaicho. I, I, it's been a while for me. All right. All right. I think we stop dilly-dallying and get down to business. Let's get down to business. To defeat Walt Disney. All right. Let's take a look at how we're going to do this. Oh. Yeah, baby. All right. Cool. So, Trench. I don't know what we're going to use against Trench. Let's... um. Let's whip up a little bit of Swigger.gg Insights. Let's see what Insights has to say about Trench, because I'm, I'm not even sure. What was that? Trench? Dooku? Django? No, not new. Django. I think it was Trench, Dooku, Django. Yeah. That is correct. And he has a Trench level 9. What's the level 6 and the level 3? Potency up and tenacity up. And then uh, it's the days with extortion. He doesn't have Newt in this team, though. Immunity to days. And then he's got... What is it? The... Is it that one? Immunity to days. Potency up and tenacity up. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Revan's flagship is unnamed. Thanks, Anktha. What, Django? No, no what. Okay, so... Aphra's got it. But Aphra's on defense. Bad Batch do, does relatively well, but 70% is not really something I fancy risking. They're immune to days, so I, I don't really want to do that. We do have Dash Hand Chewy, 
So that's a potential. We do have Sidious. Sidious has got a really good win rate against this. That might be the one. Maybe we Sidious solo. Maybe we Sidious solo it. Yeah, I mean, 96%. I know it's only 26 battles, but 96% is really good. Um, okay, let's pencil in Sidious. So we'll pencil in Sidious. Hey, Unstoppable, we're doing good. How are you doing today, buddy? Sidious, we've got uh, Malakos over here. I will probably Reaver this. We'll Bane this and JML that. I think that all makes sense. Let's actually start off with a bit of Sidious action. Start off with a little bit of Sidious action. We've got to get serious in here. Let's get a little bit serious. Let's start this off with some Sidious, insidious action going up against the Trench Cron. We need this to go well. Our opponent has not dropped the battle, so we got to keep it squeaky clean. Come on, Sidious. Look at that evil grin. That evil grin. Like that of... Oh, I better not finish that sentence. Let's go. Come on, Sidious. Hype it up. Let's go, chat. All right, let's start getting those debuffs. Beautiful. Look at those dots. Mm, I mean, yeah, okay, fine. Can we get a little bit of cleanse action going? Good. Are we in airplane mode? There we go. Always, always in our best interest to airplane mode. Ooh, he resisted all of those debuffs. That's not ideal. Let's keep it going. They're resisting all of these debuffs, and we've got boatloads of uh, tenacity, uh, potency. Four. I'm getting a little bit antsy right now. Only a little bit. I, I just need one more on him. Come on, stop having four dots on him. Four dots every time. Every time we get we seem to be getting four dots on uh, on trench. But I think we're starting to ramp up enough offense now. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking good, guys. We are looking good. Sidious looks like he means business once again. Come on, Sid. Let's go, buddy. Sit the sloth. Nuh uh. No chance, buddy. No chance, Lance. Let's whip it. Mmm. Mmm. Sidious is taking over. Dooku is beginning to realize that maybe he was ill advised to ally himself with Sidious. Love to see it. 69 banners, baby. I am indeed the Senate. I am the Senate. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is a good start to our GAC. A nice, sexy 69. Sid wasn't pleased with the count. He was not. He was not pleased with the count in the slightest. All right. That was a good, juicy start for us. It was a good, juicy start for us. Now then, we're going to keep this ball rolling. We're going to go straight in with the Inquisitorious. We're getting Reaver. We're getting GI. And we're going to throw in the seventh sister. All of these people, they're all really good people. We are also now going to get some doubt. Doubt really messes with JML, which I'm very happy about. Um, because. We can have the extra offense. Yeah, let's have the extra offense. It really messes with JML because it, he's unable to actually pass inherited teachings. Which means it delays his ult massively. Let's do this. Come on, Reaver. I hear that revenge is a powerful motivator. Alrighty, let's immediately, immediately going in with the torture. Uh, let's also get the armor shred on top of the torture. And then, yeah, let's pull it all back. Just pull it all back. Um, do I want ability blocks right now? Yeah, let's get ability blocks across the board. The damage output on that JML. Like, ouchies for him. Heal immunity too. Oh my days. JML's not going to take a turn, is he? 
Nope. <laughs> no turns for you, JML. I'm sorry, buddy. But uh, no turns for you today. Uh-uh. Turns overrated, bro. Absolutely overrated. You're just not allowed them. You're just not allowed them. Let's see if we can recover that protection that we're missing. That is looking... Oh! Oh! Reva. Take a bow, honey. Take a bow. <laughs> I love it. That was good business. That was very, very good business. GL who? No more. Nope, he's gone. He didn't take a turn. JML did not take a turn. It's beautiful. All right. Let's see what's going on on this Laocron. Crit damage, deflection. All right. And he's obviously got the bonus stats. I don't think this will be a problem for our Bane. We're going to keep rolling with Bane anyway. The Bane train has come to town. Let's grab Bane. And let's uh, let's grab ourselves a Sith. And I'm going to go with our usual Darth Maul and our trusty, trusty Bane Cron. Oh yeah, look at that Bane Cron. It's looking sexy. It's looking delicioso. It's three Relic Nines. Oh my lord. This guy doth Relic his Rebels. And uh, I, I can't say I'm, I can't say I'm mad. I think she's about to get mad though. I think Bane's about to get mad. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Let's go. Make sure you hydrate. It's good for the pause. All right. Start off by getting some siphon. Oh my taste! They're like straight out of the rip, man. Straight out of the rip, it's just like, oh, I heard you liked having stuff and things. Yep. All right. That's good business. That is good business. All right. Mole's gone. I'll take the extra offense, I guess. Um. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just basic over here. We'll put it on airplane mode because I always get nervous, and it's always in our interest to make sure. You, you never know. You never know. You could lose. You could lose. Boom. Not this time, but you could. Oh, did he have foresight? I didn't even see. I'm no longer worried. Bye. Oh. <laughs> That's just rude. Bye. Oh, come on now, R2. St quit toying with me, R2. Stop getting second wind. You've had enough second winds. He's had enough second winds, guys. At least I think he has. Boop. Boop. Leia thinking she can do something. Um, yeah, let's just dispel all that crap. Alrighty then. R2, you are so cheeky, my friend. You are so cheeky. Look at him with that damage immunity. We'll keep on sapping. Clapping! Oh, baby, baby, baby. R2, will you stop surviving with one health? You're very rude. Good business. A 55. A 55? I'll take it. <laughs> R2 go back and stay with the ship indeed uh, Master Luke does not have the power Kirak Infiniala no he does not whatever that means alright looks like our opponent has um, just waited I think he's probably seen that we're attacking and he's kind of curious he wants to see what we do um, and that's completely fair that's completely fair um so I'm just going to double check to see, has he taken a bite? Oh, he's actually in against Lord Vader. Ooh, should we hang around and see what he gets for Lord Vader? We could hang around. We could hang around. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe we pinch a couple of banners. He's set four GLs on defense. Is that right? Lord Vader, JML, Rhea, Leia, Ray. Yeah, four GLs on defense. Unless he's got GL on the back wall, which I doubt, but he might do. Um, which means he's got four GLs for offense. I doubt he used a GL against our layer. He probably baned our layer. So that means he's got GLs to deal with Lord Vader. He doesn't have JML, which would be one of my choices. He could JMK cat it, theoretically. Um, so it'll be interesting. Interesting to see. Hey, thank you, Arkan. Thank you, Arkan, buddy. I'll speak to you soon, buddy. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's cross our fingers, knees, toes, and eyeballs 
that Lord Vader manages to pinch some banners here. 6601. 601, sorry. So, uh, yeah. Come on, Lord Vader. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, Vader. I believe in you. I, be I believe in the power of... No, I, I don't believe in you at all. He got... What did he have? 601? So he got 54. 54 against Vader. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Lord Failure strikes again, Pilkis. You're absolutely right, mate. You're absolutely right. Never again shall I set him on defense. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was worth the gamble. Let's throw some rocks. I'm psyched. Unaligned force users. I'm not messing around. We're taking. We're bringing out the big guns. Because you know that's how we like to roll. Bringing out the big guns. Getting that crit damage. Getting that uh, lovely doubt. We're going to do this, baby. Sia Junda, Starkiller, and Taron Malakos. Let's go. Taron Malakos. I know how to pronounce his name. It's totally fine. Shake it off, guys. Shake it off. Alrighty. Let's start with an immediate strip of that crit hit immunity. How dare you? You blinded me. It's almost as if Malak needs to be able to see... Malakos doesn't need to be able to see. That's a complete fabrication. It's a complete fabrication. Can we get shock? Starkiller not messing around. Let's throw some rocks, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, Yeah, let's get some DI rocking. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's absolutely wrecked. What can I say? What can I say? Today is not the day for Ray. What can, what can I say? Starkiller came down. He was like, hey, I've got this canister. Would you like it directly in your face? And she says, well, yes, please. Right here. Good night. 57. Get wrecked, Ray. Get absolutely wrecked. Love to see it. Oh! Your opponent lost one battle on gas, and he stopped for now. Hopes? Your hopes are high. I My hopes are high for you as well, Kojo. Rock and roll, baby. You know it. You know it. All right. So we do have Keller and Beck. Now, this is not a good Keller and Beck team. I'm very curious as to why you would set Keller and Beck with old Ben. He's got Jedi Anakin. I'm okay with Jedi Anakin. But why old Ben? Like, nobody is setting with old Ben. Um, so I'm not going to mess around because we can't afford to drop a battle. Oh, 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 oh. He's taken out something else. Let's see what he's taken out. Ray is tired of having stuff being thrown in her face. If it's not rocks, it's spaceships. If it's not spaceships, it's barrels. Oh, looks like he took out the Ray team. Big Sag was hoping at least one of those teams would get a hold, but no. What did he go? He went 601 to 655. So he got a, he got a 55 against Ray. He got a, 50, a 55 against Ray. He still has... I mean, the Keller and Beck team is relatively difficult, but he's taken out the toughest teams on our defense now. So if he doesn't... He's unlikely to drop anywhere else at this point, I would say. So we need to make sure that we absolutely do not drop a battle. So we're just going to probably go in and JML this. I'll JML holder it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to JML it. We'll take in Hermit Yoda. And we could take in an extra unit, I guess. Maybe Shack T. Just to guarantee the recovery. And we'll take in our Kip Fisto Kron, which has got 84% protection. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's rock it. I just want to make sure that we... Recover all our banners. That's all I want. Let's get the TM first. Wonderful. Get some more TM. All right. Let's 
that's fine. We'll just deal with Ben. And then we'll take out Kellerin, I guess. I mean, why not? Why, why the devil not? We're going to have to go through Kellerin a couple of times. So, because we'll have to first take out his protection. Then we'll have to take out all of his health. Then we'll have to take out all of his health and protection again. <laughs> so, there we go. You triggered. That's just basic it. Oop. Lovely. I might as well go into ult here. Might as well do a little bit of this. Bop him. And now I want to drop him. Good. That should be full banners. 57. I like it. What's going on, Art? How you doing? My wife, for hire. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, 555. Five, five. That's a nice, tasty number. Good business. Let's see what he's got on the back wall, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? He's taken out the Keller and Beck. He is one-tapping everything. He's doing well. This is why this guy uh, is is in the finals, I guess, because he's, cle he's cleared all of our toughest teams without breaking a sweat, man. Uh, we should check his efficiency. We should check his efficiency. But um, maybe we don't have to. Maybe we don't have to. What has he got on that back, to back wall, then? Jabber as well. Holy moly, this guy's done really well. This guy's done really, really well. So we've got uh, strong back wall defense over here. Uh, if this is the if this is the target lock level six, it's not the target lock level six. So theoretically, Wampa can solo that. Theoretically, hey, what's going on, Elysia? How are you doing? And then we've got a JTR Holdo Chrome with BB8. He's got some interesting back wall teams. Nothing back there uh, to sneeze at. Truth be told, absolutely nothing to sneeze at back there. So I've got to hope that he, he drops a team somewhere to give us a little bit of wiggle room because that's going to be a tough back wall to deal with. That's a tough back wall to deal with. All right. Let's, um, let's see about north then. Who would I like to see added to Swugger? Um, number one for me right now would be... Um, Hmm. I think it it would have to be Balin Skull and Shin Haiti. I think those would be my top characters I'd like to see added to the game. A duo of unaligned force users. Dark side unaligned force users. I think that'd be sick. Found out today that Savage can solo Grievous team non-stat. That's pretty cool, FN. Bounty Hunter Kenobi. Hmm. Right. We are going to go in. Well, we could do. We could. We might save that uh, Mandocron. We might save that. We've got. Yeah. We'll go Sith Empire over here. Keep it nice and simple. Standard setup over here. I mean, this could be quite useful here. Extra health, extra health steal, protection. Sure, why not? You'd like to see the father as the first neutral GL with the son and the daughter as requirements? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, let's rock it. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Fingers, toes, knees, and eyes crossed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Start off with a bit of that fear. Uh, let's see if we can get buff immunity, uh, ability block rather. And a big old thwop. Love to see it. Let's get some shock. Beautiful. Good start. Control you please. Definitely want to keep that uh, Dark Trooper under wraps as much as possible. Big jump. Slowly but surely. 
taken away Gideon's protection. It's just basic here. Let's see if we can blind him. Beautiful. Yeah, let's fear the whole team. Keep working on Dark Trooper Moff Gitters. He is such a chunky boy. He is so chunky. All right, can we get the ability block? Lovely. I'm just going to basic here. I don't want these guys taking a turn right now. Yeah, we'll hit him. Slap him good. Get the fear. Get the fear. Jump him. Oh, he's nearly down. We've nearly got him. Yeah, I'll trigger this. Nearly there. Come on. Zap him. Will you die? <laughs> Will you flip and die? There we go. He took his sweet time, but we got there eventually. We got there eventually. Good. Nice and clean with that one. Beautiful. Keep him controlled or not. Her controlled. Apologies. Alright, that's a 57. I'll take it. Are you sure about Wampa versus GG with Stap and the Omicron? Didn't see the third team that was in the rest of the Datacron. Only level 6, but would doubt Wampa works. Apparently, without the target lock, it does work fine. Apparently. Apparently. I'm probably not going to risk it, though, because we can't afford to drop a battle. Because this guy is clearing so well. He's clearing really well. I genuinely thought we might trip him up somewhere. But he is just flying through our defense. Was that the Afra team he just took out? It was. Afra's kind of trash. I should really take her off defense. Um, hopefully this will get something. I'll be getting your first GL on Thursday. SLKR. Nice one, dude. SLKR is a solid GL, dude. Right, what am I going to do against that Jabber? I think we've got JMK Cat, haven't we? Yeah, we've got JMK Cat. So we can JMK Cat this. I'll need something to deal with Chirrut. So Chirrut Bays. Let's just get the best setup because I'm sure he's got it. Uh, don't have, don't have, don't have. Do have, but not a very good win ratio. We do have Jabber available, so maybe we Jabber it. Yeah, it looks like we Jabber it. All right. So, Jabber, JMK Cat, think of something, think of something, think of something. Cool. All good things, guys. All good things. Kit Fisto, finally, I know, right? Kit Fisto, finally. So he currently has four more teams beat than us and about just over 200 banners more. What is that difference? It's going to be a close, close GAC, this one. This is going to be close unless he drops a battle soon. 818 minus 612. Divide that by, what do you have, four more teams? 51. So we've got a slight banner average right now, I'd say. <laughs> exactly, Vin. My night sisters are garbage, dear. Absolute garbage. That Kit Fisto team is very weak for a Kaiba match. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we know we're going to Bowmando this. That's kind of a written. Not sure what to go use against the Maul Mandos. We've got options. I've got C available for something. Uh, maybe, maybe we could C solo the Sia team. We could probably see solo that. Obviously, you have to be a little bit careful about that fulcrum. But I think, provided we just link her at the start, we should be fine, right? Or maybe I'll maybe I'll go C set, C set to play it safe, and I'm sure that'll be fine. How fast is his fin here? I mean, I don't really like Imp Troopers. That's a lot of offense, 308. Theoretically fast enough for us to just walk through, but depends. What's the level six? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's an awkward team. So we're going to have to use something good against that Finn team as well. 
I mean, we've got Slacker. Is my Grievous on defense? No, Burrito. No, I don't. I don't tend to use Grievous at all. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've not invested anything into Stap. <laughs> He's like gear seven or something, and um, four, three star still. I've not done anything with Stap just yet. All right. Hmm. I need to plot this out correctly. Need to plot this out correctly to get uh, an idea of where I need to go. Um, Star Wars Outlaws gameplay trailer looks good. Nice jig. I I've not actually had a look at it, Jiggity. Uh, not since. Not not for a, when it, I think they had some previews of it, but like a year ago or something, was it? Okay, so Lord Vader, Bo Katan, Maul. I don't know. Maul, I don't know. Let's have a look, actually. See what they say about Maul. What, what are people saying about this weird Maul team? This is Maul. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Uh, Bo-Katan. I think it was Armorer, wasn't it? Maul, Bo-Katan, Armorer. We don't have gas. We don't really have Star Killer. We do have Dash Hand Chewy, but an 88% win ratio is not fabulous. Um, we do obviously have some Jedi, but not JML. I need to save Jabba. I need to save JMK. We don't have you. We don't have you. We do have Slacker, but I'd like to save Slacker. Decent enough win ratio on Jedi Knight Revan. And then there is a, a mirror match, but we do obviously don't have our own maul. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this one, guys. Um, <clears throat> I do have Dash Hand Chewy, yeah. I've got Dash Hand Chewy. Imperial Train, uh, it's not got a good win ratio, apparently. And I'm not sure what the Kron is, actually. So the Kron, they're going to get stacking damage, and they've got Light Side have got the extra protection. So they're going to be taunting out the gate, aren't they? Like, if we can... I've got crit damage potency, deflection, resistance, and tenacity. If, For example, if we can go in at the start, and you can, like, just nuke down Darth Maul, then that obviously changes things. But he is pretty chunky, to be honest. And he's fast. Holy moly, is he fast. Oh, sorry, get that instant thief out of my sight. Team Cape Fisto. <laughs> um, no, Evo, we've used Sidious. We used Sidious earlier. So I don't think it's the case that we just don't have a solution for this team. I think it's more the case that we just need the right solution. Like, Theoretically, we could Gen Knight Revan it. Like, I think we could probably go Gen Knight Revan, Luke, and I don't know. I mean, hell, we could even go Gen Knight Cal Kestis. Could we do Basti? Basti lead? What was he? He was 330, wasn't he? So, Revan is 318. He's gaining 5 speed for every Jedi. 5 speed for every Old Republic. 5, 10, 15. So, he's 332. 333, right? I think that's how his leader leadership works, isn't it? Each Old Republic the start a battle. Um, yeah. Jedi and Old Republic allies gain 5 speed. So, yeah, he's gaining 5, 10, 15. Oh, and he's gaining, no, he's gaining 10 for himself, isn't he? Yeah. So he's gaining 10, 20 speed. So he should be faster. It's just how fast is his armor? How fast is the armor? 
Okay, it's 310. So theoretically speaking, we could just mark mole at the start, right? Mark mole at the start. He's going to be immune to stuns. My Jolie's only relic one, Vin, unfortunately. Is there any instances of... Yeah, there's no instances of using that sort of setup. I mean, there's been wins, but these guys were not using any Datacrons. <laughs> that might not be this. Maybe we do dash hand chewy it. You know, dash hand chewy with some sort of damage cron. Tricky. Oh, he's gone up north. He's left. He's left that team on the back wall and he's gone up north, has he? We've still got an hour left. Who did he take out up north here? Yeah. Oh, he took out the trench, Cron. Took out trench without an issue. 875. Yep, he's doing very well, this guy is. He's doing very well. Dash hand Chewy with that, Cron. Don't dash hand Chewy with that, Cron. Only 44%. Thank you, Vin. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, buddy. Okay, so no dash hand chewy. How does C do? How does C do? Because, like, that Seer team is less of an issue, I feel. So, Maul, that, that. Because if I can just see it, I'll just see it. If I can, like, C set. C with set, for example. Yeah, C with set seems to do fine. Trey was on defense, Raphael. Um, let's also just double check. Doesn't have that. He's got... Does he have that, Cron? Sorry, I forget. I don't think he's got the stacking health, is he? He does have the stacking health. No, nope, that's on the Seer team. Ignore me one second. Uh, do you have swigger.gg premium? Do you need it to use it properly? Uh, you need to have premium or be in a guild that has enough people that pray, pay for premium to use Swigger Insights. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I think it's I think it's incredibly valuable. Yeah, he's got the stacking health on the light side. And increased damage output. So stacking health and increased damage output. So that I don't think there's any with the exact match. There's still five with that though. Um, so yeah, I think I think we uh, we've used Sidious J Dog, we've used Sidious. So I think if we can find a different team to use it up against this Fulcrum team, then we should be okay. We should be okay. Maybe we bounty onto the Fulcrum team. Eighty-seven percent chance. Let's let's double check the Cron over here. Um, bonus health. Yeah, okay, so it's just the extra bonus health, no extra damage or anything like that. So it's that. Yeah, I think we bounty hunter. Okay, so we bounty hunter the seer team. We see the mall. That's what I think, so. We're going with the bounty hunters first then. Let's let's uh, let's do that first. So you, you, and you. Whew. Took a little bit of finagling, but I think uh, I think we got there in the end. Recover health and protection for the light side units. That seems pretty good to me. I don't think I need doubt.
Gain a buff. Extra health and protection. Could be better. All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's go. Fingers crossed. All righty. Over here. Let's do this. All in. All in. Beautiful. Call in our man. 80% of the way. Ooh, Bosk. Oh, bloody hell. That's really not ideal. The Foresight could be an issue. Alright, we should be okay. Does he have... He does have crit chance up. So let's just get rid of that. Get rid of her. Now we've got to get rid of Seer ASAP. Losing Bosk like that was really, really bad. Okay, we ate that one. That's good. So long as we can get rid of Seer. Keep it alive. Come on. All right, we got it. We're good. We're good. Cool. That was clenching, guys. That was absolute clenching right there. Holy moly, that was... <sighs> the timing on that was bad, bro. But hey, we got here. We should be able to get back up to full banners, I think. Let's just time it out a little bit. There we go. I say full banners. Full banners for what we have left. So we dropped a couple there, but 54 is still fine. Whew, baby, I was nervous. 666 six, six on the board. All right. 666 six, six on the board. <laughs> yeah, that was really sketchy, guys. That was really sketchy, really flipping sketchy. I need a better Bosk, guys. I need a better Bosk. All right, so he took out the Aiden team there. He's still not dropped a single battle. I don't think he's going to now. Like, these te like sure, the Fin Fin Zori can be awkward. Um, but, uh, yeah. He's not going to drop a battle, so we really can't. We've definitely been more efficient than him so far, but he's obviously cleared, cleared what, one, five more teams than us. So we have to play this correctly now. So we're going to see here, I need something good for this Fin Fin Zori. Need something good for the Fin Fin Zori. Uh, so Jedi Knight Revan could theoretically. That's not good. I mean, that's pretty good. JKR GMY Mace. We should actually we should put the Datacrons on first. Put the Datacrons on. He's got Finn. He's got the we need to bring them below 100% health and he's got potency up. So it's uh Finn 100% health and he's got the potency up and tenacity up. So what are we looking at? Ooh, really bad for JKR. This is still relatively good at 81%. But I personally don't like it. We don't have a whole lot of options here. We don't have a whole lot of options here. We're on the Finn team. It's a nasty one. It's Finn lead, 100% health to kill them, and it's the potency um, on a dispel. <laughs> Potato soup. 
He doesn't have Omicron on Zuri, does he? I always forget to check that. I always just assume everybody's got it. Let's have a look. No Omi on Zuri. No Omi on Zuri. Hey, Zerko, thank you for the resub, dude. Appreciate you, moment. You finally remembered. You did indeed, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, no Omi on the Zuri. So that does make things a hair bit easier. So let's go um, defense Omis. That and exclude. There is no Omi there. No Omi on that. That actually decreased our odds with that for some reason. Probably because there's just less battles or something. Have I got the Jedi Extra Offense Cron? Jedi Knight Revan Mace might work with that. Um, I don't think I do, actually. Let me plan out the back wall defense, then. Let's plan out the back wall defense. We've got JTR. Not sure. We've got GG. Not sure. We've got... Um, Zaris, not sure. <laughs> like, these teams, I have no idea what to use against. Uh, we've got Jabba, which we're going to JMK Cat. And then we've got uh, Saw, which we are going to um, uh, Jabba, right? So we still have Slacker, right? We've still got Slacker, and we've still got C. Now, I think we're going to see the mall team, which means I could theoretically slacker the, um, I could slacker the Fin Fin Zori. That could work. Slacker Fin Fin Zori. Uh, Aslan, we've already used Sidious and there's no Malgus. There's no Malgus on this defense. Welcome back, Potato Soup. Looks like he's going in against the easiest team left. He, there's no way he drops on this. It's, uh, it's a gimme team. It's a gimme team. Um, okay. All right. So we know we're Bowmandoing up there. We're going to see here. I think we just slacker this to have done, do we? Do we just slacker that to have done? Just to kind of guarantee? Guarantee that we get the kill on that? I think we do. Let's, uh, let's just take a look. Is this still Fin Fin Zori? SLKR. So I wouldn't want to go in solo, even though it's got a really good win rate. I mean, that's out of six battles there. We should probably go all in. We should probably go all in on that. Hey, what's going on, Sob? I don't know why, but I get other numbers for you. JKR seems perfectly fine. What JKR team did you, did it, did you show? Like, JKR Mace GMY, was it? It just makes me very nervous. Like we're gaining 510. We're gaining 20 speed there. You do mace to get Zori? Yeah. Is it better to have GMY or do we think is it better to have... Luke? I almost feel like Luke is the better choice. Just because we can weaken them. But then there's also Jedi Knight Cal who can attack under protection and stuff. And my mace is only R5. He's not exactly a tough cookie. I don't want to risk a drop there, that's the thing. He's probably cleared that BAM by now. Yeah, there we go. He's cleared the BAM. Let's just see the uh, mall team. Let's see the mall team. I'll get the old uh, Doubt Crons out.
you do mace to get Zori. Yeah, the um, um, the shatter point is very useful, isn't it? All righty, let's go ahead and link you. Yeah, I guess we'll link Maul as well. Because Maul is going to let us get straight through to ultimate, isn't he? Oh, that was useful. Thank you. Good times. Let's just go straight into ult. Zap the Zabrak. Indeed. Alright, mano a mano with Beskar Arm, a Mandalorian. Now we play the waiting game, I guess. I'll just try and tickle him. There we go. Not great for banners, but I think we've still got the advantage there. Thank you, Sop. Okay. So we know we're going to Mando that. Man uh, Bo-Katan Mandalore, the Lord Vader. Definitely, 100%, that's what we're going to do there. I'm just going to back out and check I'm still first in fleet, making sure that guy is not going to snipe me. Because <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, we're still first in fleet. That's fine. Let's get back to it. Will Bad Batch do anything against... No, not against that uh, Zori team, no. No. Pretty certain we'll get Shreked. So, yeah, he's just got the Vader team and, what is it, my, my own Fin Fin Zori team left to deal with? And he's definitely going to be absolutely fine on fleet because my fleet defense is garbage. So I can't see there being any issues with that. There is no Gungan fleet potato soup. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's just got two teams left on defense to deal with. He's done very well. I'm incredibly impressed. By the level of GLs he's got on defense. And how tricky of a defense he set. And how clean he's been. It's been very clean. Okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, Mando this. Bo Commando. I'm not going to go in solo. I'm going to take in uh, Grogu. Just because there's no point in me risking. And I know the risk is incredibly slim. But we're just going to go ahead and do this anyway. For the sake of a, a couple of banners, it's not worth it. Alright, let's get it. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get the old armor shredder root. Beautiful. And, yep, let's go ahead and throw some stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And cleanse. No. No. Beautiful. Cleanse it all off. Yep. No, Lord Vader. Naughty Lord Vader. Get it. 57. Cool. <laughs> 777 on the old banners. bo does love Lord Vader. That's absolutely true. All right, I'm going to go JMK his Jabber right now. Because I feel that makes sense to get that battle out of the way. Because he's got two tough teams there. He's got the JMK. Sorry, he's got the um, he's got the Jabber and he's got the... Um, he's got the Saw team. Both of those are no joke. Not Hut Cartel. Galactic Republic. All R9s. Uh, two R9s, sorry. Two R9s. It's a lucky number. It is indeed, buddy. It is indeed. It's got some deflection, crit avoidance, and crit damage. Crit John DiMaggio. Let's have a look and see what the best comp is for this. So, new. Just get that jabber out there. 
Jabba with Bausch and Santi. And we have got Doubt. Doubt and what? The level 6 shouldn't matter. Yeah. So just Doubt. So JMK Cat GK has got a 90% win ratio. Mace is a better win ratio. But I want to save Mace just in case. You like Ahsoka as the third? Um, yeah, I don't want to sacrifice the extra banners and the extra win rate. I'm going to take in GK. I'll take in GK. And uh, let's see what we've got. Enemies defeated by Jedi can't be revived. We might be able to kill Santi with that stacking stuff here. Yeah, that's probably the best one to go for. Let's do it. Hey, Count Ravioli. How are you doing today, buddy? We're doing good. We're doing good. Getting sweaty in this last GAC, that's for sure. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Let's start off by getting to a fast ult, I think. All very well and good. We just need to do a basic with GK now. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. But that's okay. Alright. There's the quick ult. And then we're just going to get rid of Bausch. All those bonus attacks, man. All of them. Get rid of you. Good. And then might as well get a mass assist going. Yeah, let's get armor shreds on him. Because he is Relic 9 and he does have the army, so he is going to be a chunky individual. Let's pass this back and forth here. We should have a cooldown reset available as well. Let's go ahead and get another armor shred on him. We were blind, it's okay. Alright, let's keep it going. Halfway done. Halfway done. Another armor shred, so I think we're at three now. That Santi is so thick, man. We're starting to deal good damage now, though. Hopefully Jabba doesn't go for the... Uh... Ooh, I was not expecting that full kill then. Hopefully Jabba doesn't go for the eat on cat. But you never know. Let's just pass it back. Try and build up some damage over here. Lots of assists, please. Want to be able to get a big yeet on that Jabba. Huge. Come on. Before he gets to that ult. Need to deal with him. Come on. Got him. He's 57. He's either through to fleet or he's through to the back wall. Uh, he's cleared the back. Let's see which one he did. Which one is it? Which one is it? He's through to fleet, so he's he's taken down all the toughest teams. He's one-tapped the whole board. He's definitely going to one-tap fleet because the fleet is trash. So we're really up against it here, guys. We are really up against it here. I 
I am a little bit worried about this Holdo JTR team because that's got we have to kill them all. They've got speed. They've got a bunch of health steel. And JTR in threes is no joke, guys. It's no joke. Let's uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. JTR BB8 Holdo, and we've got a Holdo level nine, and that. And what's the what's the the last bit? Stacking offense. Of course, it's stacking offense. What have people been using? Night Sisters, we don't have. Afro, we don't have. We do have. Dash Hand Chewy has got a really good win rate. So maybe that's where we Dash Hand Chewy. So let's just pencil that one in then. Dash Hand Chewy. I don't know. I've never faced Stap with the Stap Cron. Genuinely never faced this. So I've no idea what to do against GG Stap with Stap Cron. GG Stap Maggie. Is that right? GG Stap Maggie? Yeah. He has got the Stap one, and it's not the Target Lock one. Uh, immune to Days. It's the Immune to Days one. And protection up. Protection up. Yep. Yeah. And defense omis, he's got that stat cron. So what have people used against this? Oof, Wumper with the zero. Gemini Revan's still beaten it. Oh, okay. There hasn't been a whole lot of evidence against this. But I'm thinking we save Jedi Anakin here. Uh, I think we use Jedi against GG then. There's not been a whole lot of battles, but... It might be Jedi. Stap is not to be underestimated. I agree. I think it has to be Jedi there. No idea what to use against this. Like, the funny thing is, right, is the Kit Fistocron gives them... It gives them all guard, which means they can't be crit. So Zaris is almost worthless because she can't heal the team. Which is interesting. All right. So we've got Barris, Kit Fisto. And Ahsoka with a Kit Fisto on me. And it's that one. Wampa has got a hundred, <laughs> one win against it. Maybe I try and Wampa solo that. Okay, so if we say Wampa, Jabba, Jedi, um, I forget what we were going to use here. Oh, Dash Hand Chewy. All right, so that leaves me slacker to deal with his Fin Fin Zori. All right, so he's cleared all of the ground game. Cleared all the ground game. We're going to go in with uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren now. Let's get that rolling. God, this is making me nervous, man. This guy's giving me a right run for my money. A right run for my money. Definitely want to stun that dude. If we can go over here, stun this girl. Swipe her, steal her mastery. Stun you. All in on you. Now they should have... Yeah. Good. Lost some protection on crew. Regained it. It's fine. Good. Only I can slack. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Let's see the fleet. That profundity by the looks of things. OK, 
Okay, so he's gone Profundity Negotiator Holdo. He's got all reinforcements as well. All the reinforcements. So. Leviathan Executor Profundity. I guess. That's that, that would be my first guess. So, let's see. Profundity, I think we Leviathan. Let's just double check this. But it's standard lineup. Even if it wasn't standard lineup. Uh, let's see. Leviathan's got a really good win ratio. 97%. Yeah. Let's start off with that. Leviathan. Ships. Going with you. 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 You and you. Is that the standard lineup? Yeah. All right. Let's go for it, guys. Let's do it. Need for Speed, an Extreme G race game. Yeah, I remember it, Raphael. All right. Yeah, this is... Um, you don't really get many GACs much closer than this. That's nice. Seven thermals over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll I'll actually stop him from getting a reinforcement. Uh, let's just do a basic here. Get the heal immunity. Throw a bunch of bombs at him. Oh, I definitely did the wrong move at the start, didn't I? I was supposed to isolate this guy. Uh-oh. Scribbled's doing the wrong moves. Let's sort it out now. That might end up costing me, but let's find out. Ten thermals over there on Outrider. He's gone. Stun him. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. We're good. We got it. That should be dead. Oh, come on. I think we just didn't land the crit. We didn't find the crit, guys. We did not find the crit. Get rid of that. Take over his capital so he doesn't have any benefits anymore. No benefits for you, good sir. Uh, let's get some TM. I don't want to get rid of the fear on there. Let's heal up. AoEs. I was really hoping that would happen. Get the bonus turn over here so we can just whoop. Good times, good times. 73. I'll take a 73. Now we exec. I have returned. Welcome back. Bounty hunters. Let's go get it. Alrighty then. All in. All good so far. Well, hey, we got a double tap. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Bye, Anakin.
I want to get rid of that Marauder as soon as possible now. Hey, what's going on, Robbie? How you doing today, brother? I hope you're good, my man. I hope you are good. Meh. Come on. Huge. Absolutely flipping huge. I'm going to save the full heal until after we've guaranteed uh, victory, as it were. Huge. We should have our ult pop in soon. There's the ult. Huge. All right. Just please kill that Marauder. Stun him. <laughs> or don't. That's also fine. AoEs. Lovely. All right. Cool. How are we looking over here? Call you in. Pew. Pew. Okay, so I just need to use that full heal over here on Xanadu. Recover some of those lost banners. Huge. 73. 273s for the fleet so far. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. All right. Now it's just profundity. Just in case. Just in case. We should be fine. Let's go for it. No more Bespin gas, indeed. Great type tribe talks yesterday. I'm glad you enjoyed the tribe talks, dude. It was good fun. It was long, mind. We went on for like three and a half hours. It's a very long podcast. Very long. That's what she said. All right. I want to be able to get rid of, um, of Ray's Millennium Falcon straight away. I love the full odds dodge that they just got. That's, you know, fantastic. But at least they've they've gotten rid of now. Let's just get rid of that foresight. All good business. Let's keep it going. I'm going to pass it over to Millennium Falcon just because I want to use the basic here to hopefully see... Yeah, there we go. Huge. Not too worried about the comeuppance when uh, there's no real attacking ship on the field. Do the AoE just to cleanse off that foresight. I want to slow down that ult. Pass this over here. If we can hit ult, that would be really, really good. I think we should have it now, actually. Yeah, we got it. There's the ult. Come on, big, big assists here. Super. Alright, so fleet was clean. Fleet was clean. He's obviously, he's waiting for us to full clear. So that he he knows how many banners he needs. So far, I think we are still ahead on efficiency. So, so long as we don't drop a battle, we should be golden. I think he's just waiting. You know what I mean? He's just waiting to see. Oh no, he's in. He's in. Ignore me. It's only Malev. Your opponent is a crack and I got 66 banners versus Holdo. Rough. Rough, my dude. Right, so we know we're jabbering this.
We know that this is definitely what we're going to do here. Have I got any Doubtcrons? Looks like I'm all out of Doubtcrons, unfortunately. Yeah, all out of Doubtcrons. So I'll do percentile health effect damage, I guess. All right, let's do this. Want to go all in on Chirrut? All in on Chirrut. Get rid of him. Throw this down on him. Oh yeah. One. Blow him out of the sky. Ah, not enough. Let's absolutely tear the arms off base. Get those thermals. Only six thermals on him right now. That's good. Yeah, we're looking pretty. Throw a bunch on him. And yeet. Beautiful. Now I just want to... Um, I just want to get ult with Jabba. And that's that. I had a doubt to level 3? Ah oh, well. We did okay. There we go. Our opponent's score is 2057. So let's do some banner math, guys. 2057. That's a good score. It's a good score. We've got 1649. 408. Get 260 for the wall. Got three teams to beat. We need a 49 banner average. Which is doable. Jabba's ult is amazing, yeah. This GG team is the biggest worry. So, from what I was seeing against the GG team, that Jedi were looking to be my best option. It was GG with Stap and Maggie. They have Stapcron. It's not the target lock one. It is the extortion one. And it's the protection up. And they do have the Omi on Stap. So the good teams that were winning against it that we saw were... Where was it? Holy moly. Okay, so there was one battle with Basti. Mm, that's not looking too pretty, is it? That's not looking too pretty. Uh, well, there's a couple with various Jedi teams. I think it's going to have to be Jedi. We're just going to have to play it incredibly, incredibly safe. A colleague told me that he won the battle against Malevolence and they have him 75 banners. It was pending and they let him do a second battle for 45. That's insane, Raphael. Um, bear with me one second, guys. I just need to go for a quick pee.
All right. Sorry about that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, it's uh, 349 on the stap. I don't even know what stap does. I've never faced stap in my life. Um, so I guess we have the Zariskron to deal with as well. Did we say we were going to try and Wampa that? Like a Wampa solo against the Zaris? I think we were. Had the Kip Fisto. It's that one. Protection up. I was against a pretty good one. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. Starting the bat with protection up, extra protection, some accuracy. Resist a debuff, recover 2% health and protection. I mean, that sounds very promising. Have I got anything with a boatload of offense, I wonder? That's got extra offense, health, steel, and health. Let's go with this one. Uh, yeah, probably. All right. Let's test it for the biscuit. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't realize Kit himself doesn't actually get the, um... Yeah, this this will be no worries at all, will it? Yeah, this is going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, this... This team does not work, guys. This team does not work. <laughs> like, we're going to kill Kit Fisto any second now. I could probably just get rid of Barris. Just keep ramping. I'm not concerned about timing out here in the slightest. Like. Yep. That was a good place to earn some banners, guys. Very good way to earn some banners there. Just put it on auto. Good times. Good times. I was I was far too worried about that team. I shouldn't have been. Like an R8 Barris is no joke, obviously. She's got a boatload of health, but R9 Wampa Trumps. 58. Okay, so we've got two very difficult teams to deal with now. This is it's all gonna come down to this. JTR, BB8, Holdo, with that Holdo Cron. And it's got the can't kill them, and they've got stacking stats. Where is it? Ah, there. So Dash Han Chewy has got good good odds. Where's Chewy? Did I miss Chewy? There he is. Aiden? Aiden was on defense then. Maybe going with um, tenacity, resistance, and crit damage.
Or maybe we go in with the sustain. Oh, against GG. Yeah, get you. Uh, but no. Uh, this is uh, this is a Harris Heller stream beats thing. Let's go. All right. I definitely want to try, if at all possible, to get Holdo down below 100% health as soon as possible. Because I feel like she is sort of... Um, she's obviously um, going to be the toughest cookie to crack, as it were. Everybody else is... Okay, they've all dropped. They've all dropped below. Let's just get rid of Holdo. And worry about JTR afterwards. Jesus, that... <laughs> that Holdo is so thick, dude. I, I, I <laughs> can't chew through that bonus protection she's got. There we go. Good. Stun him. Huge. Don't you dare. That foresight. Stunner. Killer. Whoo, baby. Oh, my days. That was bloody close, guys. That was bloody close. All right. So, I think we don't have any wiggle room to drop. I don't think. But we should be more efficient. Minus, what is it, 260? We need a 38. Bloody hell, guys, that is incredibly stressful, man. Okay. What are we thinking here? Do we go something like this? We start off with Tenacity up. We direct focus the stab. And then if we have to clean up, we do have certain teams. Not a heck of a lot. What does Sorga.gg say? There's not, there's next to no data on this team. Everything is like one battle. So GG, stab, IG. With Stap, it's not the target lock one. It's the extortion and immunity to days. And I think they've got the bonus protection at the start. They've got that protection up. And they've got the Stap on me. So it's like, you know, that Jedi Knight Revan team has obviously not been good. Um, but all the way down here, <laughs> we've got a couple of Jedi teams that have successfully won. But there's been like one battle, one battle, you know? If I clean up, it needs to be a solo. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Um... He's obviously going to go first, right? I think we just have to focus him down, don't we? 
All right. Let's do it. Let's send it. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, we get this, we get the win. Passing it over here. Pass it back. Get the stun. I just want to get rid of Stap. That's all I want in my life right now. We're good. We've got it, baby. We've got it, baby. That is the www dot who loses today, sir. You do. Got him. We got him, baby. Jen Knight, Cal Kestis, baby, take a bow, honey. That's it. That's it. That's it. We got the 55. Huge. Boom, baby. 2074. <laughs> oh. GG's in the chat. <laughs> Man, that was intense. Jesus, hats hats off to Walt. Bloody hell. Made me sweating out my ass crack. <laughs> you can't stop this. Whew. God damn, dude. He made me work for that one. Bloody hell. I was so expecting him to drop more banners. I was expecting him to drop one battle. One battle. Holy hell, that was close. Holy hell. <laughs> Man alive. We got to send that guy a message, dude. We got to send that guy a message. God damn. Oh, God. Like, I'm shaking. <laughs> I am shaking. Let, let's uh, let's send this dude a message because uh, he deserves props. Like, that was intense, man. That was the sweatiest GAC I've had in a long ass time. GG, brother. Nope. That was a hell of a defense. I was hoping you would drop a battle somewhere. Oh, my days. God almighty, guys. That was insane. That was insane. <laughs> That's a 3-0, though. That makes it 3-0, cutting it right down to the wire. 18 minutes and 46 seconds left. Holy moly mo mazacholi. God damn. He really made me think. Like, I've never faced that stat before. Um, I think we, like, we survived by a hair of our, the hair of our teeth when Je Revan didn't trigger sacrifice when Stap was taking those turns. Because the fact that we got that sacrifice and we got the savior going... On Jedi Knight Revan, when GG took his turn instead of when Stap did, made a huge difference because we managed to get the bonus turn, refocus down Stap, get rid of Stap. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Yeah, this team was not great. Uh, the JTR team was tricky. That was really tricky. I'm tempted to set something like that on defense myself. Because um, that hole, though, is a nightmare. This was fine, but we, we had a lot for offense. We saved a lot for offense, so that kind of makes sense. feel like I need to have a lie down in a dark room. How about you guys? feel like I need to have a lie down, put a cold flannel over my face. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Thanks, trader bro. That was, uh, that was an intensely sweaty GAC for me. Vin, I don't know if you're still around, brother, but uh, thank you for the advice earlier today. Wampa. Wampa proved his worth, didn't he? Um, we probably could have maybe even Malak soloed that as well. Um, I need to think more about how I counter Fin Fin Zori's going forward. 
Thanks, Mal. Cheers, unstoppable dude. Um, because that caused far too much undue stress, I think. Trying to figure out, and that had no, no army. I need to, I need to earmark a team. This is my Zori team, you know. This is the Fin Fin Zori team. As in, this is the team that kills Fin Fin Zori. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and in a week's time, we get conquest back, guys. Conquest round number two for Queen Amidala. Do make sure you check out my videos for that. Um, I'm going to be putting out a a conquest for for dummies guide, actually. Conquest for Dummies Guide, teaching people the ropes right before this conquest goes live. I'll probably post a few uh, reminders about how to get those feats done as well. You guys got any uh, recommendations or suggestions to uh, for videos? I'm happy to cover it. I'm trying to get as much content out as possible these days, and I want it to be valuable content that you guys enjoy and want to see. So let me know in the chat if there's something that you guys want to see, or want to see discussed, at the very least. Do -do -do -do. Lovely. Yeah, I'll save that for now. Get these. We need the sig not the signal data, the shard shop currency. Any good mods? Uh, no, that's a three speed. We don't we don't mess with three speeds, guys. Three speeds is not where it's at. More Zeta mats, yes please. More Chirotex, yes please. I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need all of the Chirotex in the world. Did, um, what happens when you get shards from something that's maxed? It goes over to shard shop currency, Weston. So, over here, did you, I don't know if you saw, but when we went over to this page, we had a few shards that turned into shard shop currency. So essentially, if you have a character that is at seven stars, any additional shards will turn into this currency up here. Yeah? And you'll be able to buy gear. Don't buy GG, it's a ripoff. Um, so the gear pieces are okay. To buy like these Ma Athkan Mad Pack salvages are so required all over the place, but I tend to use it for data cron stuff. So I buy data cache with it because that's the most valuable thing for me. And I'm going to be buying Mark One reroll mats and Mark Two reroll mats as well. That's usually how I do it. It's uh, charge shop currency is incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. Got to upload more to your OnlyFans. Yeah. The reminder videos for Conquest is a great idea, at least for me. Ah, good stuff, Sparrow. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to get those out. 100%. Definitely get... Ooh! Looks like Walter's a nice bloke. You too, brother. Good job on the one-shot full clear. I mean, he did as well. Like, our defense was no joke. Like, it wasn't like I set an easy defense. Um, and he got... A, a pretty like 2057 is still a decent score guys that's like let's not pretend like 2057 is a bad score um so like that's impressive i know my fleet game is is trash so he's able to get good banners on fleet but that's that's by design i i do that to hopefully get holds here you know so we've got some tricky teams i i need to see where he dropped the banners like this team is like super super low value right now i need to remove Afra from defense in threes. She doesn't offer anything, I don't think. The idea was, in an ideal world, she would be there to sap some banners, you know, because she starts with full turn meter and she'll start off and she'll potentially do an AoE and she'll summon the droids and, you know, maybe BT1 and triple zero actually get some AoEs off and do some damage. It's not there to get a hold. It's there to try and sap banners, if at all possible. The Keller and Beck team, that's a strong Keller and Beck team. Do you know what I mean? Cam and gas in that team. And this one's just supposed to be tricky, because it's got an awkward cron on it. You don't got the shard shop yet, but thanks for letting me know. No worries, Western Goose. Use Afra to counter Zordi. It, it, is that reliable, Wolf? Because I'm so nervous these days, because I play efficiency all the time. I'm so nervous about anything that's like below 80%. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. If I just look at like Fin Fin Zori. Fin Fin Zori. Defense. Well, I mean, I want defense armies. We'll say Zori. And we'll say it's got the this one and the Fin Cron. I mean, ooh. That doesn't look so great. Arnold just lost Afra versus Zori this gag. Hey, Owie. How you doing, bro? As long as your BT1 has some offense on them. 
The burn knocks their protection off. Gotcha. Thing is, my BT1 is only Relic 5. If he was Relic 8, which I, I would love to do. I'd love to take that whole team to Relic 8. That would be cool. I, I guess it just makes me a little nervous. Like, that sort of win ratio for me scares the life out of me. Maybe we got to stop putting Starkiller with What's-Its-Face and start running uh, Starkiller back with EP. Reaver is a solid counter. I, like, I don't want to be using Bane against it. Jowers. <laughs> if BT1 doesn't knock Zori under health, you lose. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, like I said, my, my BT1 is Relic 5 with trashy mods at the minute because he's Relic 5. I was just like, eh. So I'm pretty certain mine's no good. No bueno. I hope I've modded him for offense. I can't remember now. I mean, he's got an offense set on him. But you can tell by the mods, he's not good. Yeah, he's only got 7k offense. 7.7. .7. Not good. Not good. Offense, crit damage, speed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. And we'll throw the armies on them. I don't even know what they, their armies do. Does anybody know what their armies do? Because I know BT1 and Triple Zero have got Omis for 3v3, haven't they? Whenever BT1 or Triple Zero defeat an enemy, their cooldowns are refreshed and they gain 30% turn meter. Doesn't BT1 take a bonus turn when he kills a unit? You lost Afro against that exact non Omicron Zori team today? They're both 3v3 and meh. Torture inflicted from this ability lasts for two turns. If BT1 is an active ally, BT1 and triple zero recover 20% health and protection. That's okay. If it defeats an enemy, all dark side allies gain stacking offense for the rest of the encounter doubled for dark side droids. It's yeah, it's, it feels decidedly meh. You know what I mean? Thanks for the follow there, Western Goose. Appreciate you, dude. It's, it's, it's okay, but it doesn't feel like it's enough for an Omi, you know? It's like, I like the recovery. I like the fact that Torture lasts two turns. I like the stacking offense. But it feels like it's missing something. And I feel like that missing thing is the Omi that you're supposed to put on BT1. Because doesn't this call to assist as well? No, it doesn't. I thought it did. Is it his basic that calls to assist? Oh, I thought... Whenever an under attacking ally recovers the enemy, if the attacking ally's dark side droid, they also gain offense up. I thought there was something about... Is it the other way around? Is it when BT1 uses an ability, triple zero assists? Can't remember. Shows how much I know those kits. Yeah. Yeah, damn. That was uh, that was such an intense gack, guys. Such an intense gack. Very happy with it. Very happy with the result. That puts us as three and zero for the week. I really hope I don't face that guy again next week. Genuinely. Won your last round. Staying in Kyber one. Good job, Abby. Good job. I wonder where that's going to put us in K one now. Well, probably we might go up to three eight. Probably not. No, we won't go up to 3.8. We'll go to like 3.88 or something like that. Probably. Maybe 3.90. Yeah. It's good times. It's good times. Two and one for you. We'll see. Wolfie, are you, um, are you and I close these days? I think you're a bit higher than me at the moment, aren't you? It'd be cool if uh, me and Wolfie could match up. 
a bit higher. I, th I think, yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of higher. I don't think Wolfie is actually in my in my ally list. I'm a bit ahead of you right now, is it? Okay. Ooh. Right here with Papa Derby, though, there's a one-point difference between me and Papa Derby. One of my longest-standing Swagger compatriots and friends. His son gave me this. Papa Derby's son gave me my little Princess Leia Golden Pop. Very kind of him, isn't it? So, yeah, that's good business. That is good business. All right, guys, I'm going to have to call it there for today. I know it's a short stream, shorter than usual, but that GAC fried my brain, man. Like, that was that was intense. That was messing around intense. So uh, I'll see if we've got somebody else live at the moment. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for some roster reviews. we got Phalanx Fund to try and fill up just a smidgen. Um, so if anybody's looking for some roster reviews and feels like they're being kind enough to donate, then please do let me know. I'm going to put a timer on these roster reviews because I babble too much. So I'm going to put 10 minute timers on. Otherwise, I'll start spending 40 minutes on everybody's roster reviews. And that's just not fun for anybody. Um, so let's see who's live, shall we? Let's see who's live. Hey, you too, Jar Jar. Thisk is live. Thank you, Bazinga. Thank you, Trader. Thank you, Frames. Let's see who's available. If Thisk is live, we will go and see Mr. Thisk. Mr. Thisky Poo Poo. Raid over into... Yeah, Thisk is live. Let's go ahead and start the raid over there. And then YouTube, folks, we should actually know now how to do the raiding on YouTube as well. Isn't that fabulous? Isn't that fabulous? We'll see if anybody else is live currently. Anybody live at the minute? I can see Trufer Cadeau is currently live. Wrangler Swugger. Oh no, those are upcoming ones. Upcoming ones. Is Arnold live currently? Ah, no. Arnold is not currently accepting. Alright. Um... I guess we'll send you over to Wrangler. Let's try it. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. We'll try. All right, guys. Thank you all so very much. I will see you all in the very near future. Peace out and big love.